You know what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah but yeah. it sounded dirty and I liked it. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm Crystal B with Sci-Fi Wire. Today, we're fortunate enough to have the cast of Winona Earp on Sci-Fi. So hey guys, how's your day going? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Great, okay, so Melanie, you were pregnant during season two. Um, how did that work out? I have to say, when I told Emily, was she the first person you told? Yes. yes. Even before, you know, the father of the baby. Yeah. 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 I, I told her do. way before I, sh I should have told anyone. And, um, and she was like, she already had ideas. And she was like, you know, we can use whatever you're actually going through. We can put that in the show. And so actually, it was sort of great because I, if I was like in a bad mood, I was just like, well, why not as pissy right now? Let's just deal with it. So what was that like for you incorporating a pregnant sort of superhero yeah. on TV? I mean, this is the truth about doing television, which is so funny, right? I was feeling fairly smug going into season two. I was like, we got this. I got the whole arc out. And Melanie was like, hold my chamomile tea. I'm pregnant. Yeah. Um, but I really feel like with this show, so many of the themes of the show are empowerment and, you know, we have really strong females. I was really excited to kind of incorporate this idea of a pregnant superhero and everybody was so incredibly supportive of it. From our cast, we're amazing, to our crew, to our network, sci-fi. Um, and I'm really, really proud of the way it turned out. Yeah. She no, still kicks awesome. ass. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Are you guys Team Doc or Team Dolls? Or who do you want Winona to end up with? Team, I'm team, team D. Team, I'm team D. I don't team want to Remnant. specify. <laughs> what? Um, for me, selfishly, working with Mel this year was, um, it was an incredible experience because it takes you out of kind of acting when you're working with a human being who's pregnant and she's like eight, nine months pregnant and you might or might not be the father. Uh, He's not in real life. <laughs> no, in our, as a character. Exclusive. Uh, I mean, Exclusive. My, Wait a minute. My, the, Breaking news. Yeah, exactly. My, my character of the... It, you know what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah but it yeah. sounded dirty and I liked it. <laughs> it was it was really nice. A bias. Team dolls. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to be. She has to. Thank you. you know. Good answer. Protect her. I've known her before the pregnancy, so you know I have like a yeah. special place in her life. Oh. Whether I'm a father yeah. or not, who knows? Yeah. So how do you think um, Dolls' relationship with Winona has changed? Where do you want it to go? Well, I think over the, the entire season, the course of season one, Winona really helped with Dolls breaking down a lot of his rules and uh, Dolls being a real hard guy in the pilot as you saw down to the last episode and out into the mid-season of season two you can tell that she has a special place in his heart and he really adapted to kind of that relationship and especially her pregnancy it brings out a softer and even more protective side of Dolls you know so that was a cool experience on and off set being Shamir a friend to Mel and being hey if you need anything let me know and then also in the scenes and being a protector, so it was a really interesting experience, but it was great. Yeah. So I kind of want to ask you guys about the Peacemaker, the revolver. So it looks really huge. What is that like handling on set and how many you props? Your no, because yeah. <laughs> I can't lift my arm. No, it's it's like a lot of TV magic where I'm like, talk, talk faster, because I want to put my arm down. <laughs> yeah, it's really heavy. Um, I like to use it whenever I can. I like to twirl it, and hurt it, it always, I hurt myself, but it's always worth it, because I feel tough. It's one of the only examples where, like, it lives up to how big it is, I think. We're still uh, talking about peacemaking. Yeah, we are, just so you know, <laughs> that, like, people are on set, and I was like, wow, you weren't lying, it really is this big, and we're like, yeah, for once, we're telling the truth, yeah. 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 Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thank no you. No problem. Thanks for having us. Happy Comic-Con. Thank you, too.